Hello and welcome back to our Settlement Survival How-To Let's Play series. I hope you're having a great day and my name is Larry and we're, yeah, we're on episode 28. We're, we're, we're getting there. Uh, as of episode 27, we're looking at 469 adult settlers and 77 skill unlocks. So we're moving right along with all that. And let's get up into the game here and let's get it rocking. Uh, traveling merchant. Okay, why aren't you letting me click on you? Huh. Well, this is weird. Oh well. He doesn't want me to clicky clicky. I'm not going to clicky clicky. Well, quarries are doing decent. We're going to have to uh, throw some skills into mining soon. Uh, fuel is not happy with us right now. And we're down to 427. Uh, tools went back up to 186. So that's good. And here we go. We're up into the gold and happiness. So life is good there. We're still getting killed on the population stress. So that's not good. And we're going to add a few houses. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to go through how we can fix some of this stuff. And don't tell me. I wonder if it'll let me place a house there. Yeah, this stuff's going to be in the way. Well, I think we can get a couple houses here. Now, just so you know, I'm not moving the police stations. I know it's it's housing and all that, but uh, these are a little bit more important. And plus, they extend out, make, giving these guys happiness bonuses, so... Yeah, that's not a good, you know, getting rid of them would be a bad thing. So, let's go ahead and uh, throw in some houses. And I lay you 10 to 1. I'm going to wind up getting rid of these things because of the old people. Maybe not. Maybe the cutoff is going to be somewhere around here. But I have to watch out because I'm going to put the retirement homes on this side. So, yeah, that's not a good thing. And we should be able to get a couple more houses in this area. So, that'll make them happy. And we have our technology point. I'm going to pause it real quick. And, you know, I started thinking about it. And maybe the... The villas and the luxury boarding house would be good just for placement purposes because we're going to have to adjust everything out. And I mean, we have to attack the simple food issue first, so these really aren't going to help us. The processing, matter of fact, the simple food is in the salt. So we've had that unlocked for a long time. We could have done simple food at any time. Um, and then of course we have hand carts, but we don't have the iron for that. So just for grins, we're going to go ahead and finish out quality of life and use our next skill point for, uh, the luxury boarding house, because the only way we're going to start, I mean, we're broken, but we're not broken. And so... I know that seems kind of weird, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up to everybody. And we'll eliminate this one.
And then as soon as that disappears, we'll throw in another house. Come on, hurry up and take it out. I haven't tasked you guys that hard. Okay, I'm going to slow this down. And yeah, I'm going to upset everybody by... What's all in there? Oh wow, that's all clay. Filling timber, okay. So let's get this one filled up. They're not going to be that far away from home, so... Even though it's going to drop in weather, they should be okay, just for this area. You hope. Now, uh... That should be enough to tidy everybody over. Yeah, I know you want housing, uh, but let's just double check. There's a couple things I am worried about. And since we ran out of tools at one time, I got to be a lot more careful. Medicine, that's what I was thinking. So let's just uh, beef this up real quick. More trees. Cut it down. And going to go ahead and hey turkeys how you doing let's go over to nurseries oh is nurseries under food yes and we're going to throw down four more oh see you know my little mousy thing But then again, I also have big hands, so. And you know, the sad part is, this is all temporary. All this is going to go away. There you go. Where are they taking all the wood? I mean, that was only 461. What's everybody doing over here? They're just goofing off? Well, the heck with that. You guys need to get to work. Here. Here's something for you to do. If you freeze, you shouldn't have stood around. wieners there there's job security for you go for it Okay, so let's take a look at Let me pause this. This is the garden villa. It's a six by four. Hmm. Huh. That's gonna be interesting. So we'll be able to plop these puppies down. Not too bad. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to get, get rid of those wells inside. Everything's going to change a little bit. I can live with that. What does it take to build one of these things? Okay, building kits custom furniture, silver cutlery, and luxurious textiles. Wow. 
we're not going to be building those for a while. That's insane. Okay. So we're going to be doing some double building, I take it. And these building kits, bricks, and glass. Okay, that's no big deal. So we can live with that for a while. Those are just going to be some expensive replacements. And we're still not going to be able to... I mean, I could just imagine what the upgrades for those are going to be. I mean, the structural strengthening is what we're going to have to put into it. Oh, that's going to be expensive. Steel, planks, glass, and or bricks. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to have to put a mental note on that one because, uh, yeah, that's going to get crazy. So, time for uh, our little uh, let's get the food going correctly. And... Okay, why is he paused? Why did... Okay, I... I'm confused here. You know, I have... I thought I've had enough people not to worry about this nonsense. Apparently not. Let's see what our shoes are doing. Okay, now they're saying we're not going to have enough clothes? Okay, what's going on here? We're going to go for the down jackets. We're just ahead of the curve on the down jackets. And we're short on shoes. So, what is up here? We haven't been selling shoes. And they're saying no bueno. So let's go ahead and open up that should take care of us there. And let's see how this goes for a season to see if they can stay up. And Okay, what's our leather like? Raw materials, textile, wool, alpaca, feathers, linen. Ouch. Okay, so we're getting hurt on leather. Okay, so hasta la vista, dude. We are no longer in the business of selling shoes. Now things are starting to get complicated. Okay, just breathe, we'll get through this. And they're just having linen issues. How's our, how's our alpaca doing? Okay, we're doing fine on alpaca, so that's not a problem. Let's get this uh, boarding house done. Okay, so we're done with quality of life. We're done with uh, education and then uh, I think we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to go into this stuff. So this is, we're going to have a small implosion here and holy crap, here comes a freaking tornado. I knew that was going to happen. Ugh. Gotta love building a house of cards, but it is what it is. We'll survive. I mean, we can stick everybody into uh, the little bunker and we'll live through it. We'll just have to build a lot of buildings. I'm not going to worry about it. Come on. And we need to open up a butcher. That's five by five. And of course a road won't do five by five. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Yeah, 
and we'll go in, we're going to go ahead and put in the butcher. If I get on the right tab, we'll put in the butcher. And I think I'm going to put in two butchers. I'll stop this one. We'll do them back to back. Be a little bit more efficient. Come on. Let's get them done, guys. Oh, wow. Jumped up to 43 citizens. Holy criminy. Okay, once those get done, let's see if we can add some housing. Goodbye, tree. And housing. Luxury boarding house. Yeah, we don't have any of those mats. Okay, just for grins. We're just going to place them right here. And this is all going to be temporary. And Builder's Cabin. Builder's Cabin is going to go right over here. I should say Builder's Tent. We'll bring them full. Let's turn you off, turn you on. And we'll get rid of these. Just so you know, I'm not panicking. Because if we start panicking, we start making bad decisions. We're just going to get this addressed first. And I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. And we need... Oh, it's not all going to fit, but... Just for now. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, we're just gonna do that for now and uh, pause this we have another town hall manager that agricultural proficiency we already have that so we're okay and we're gonna go ahead and see what they're giving us okay we already have tobacco so this guy's irrelevant efficiency of processing structures up 20 percent okay so we'll deal with that and we're going to keep her. Ships arriving are all large. So we'll see about these. But okay. Uh, yeah, see our population uh, 62%. <laughs> Excuse me. But that's why we're down to 72%. I mean, like right now, if we were not out of balance in the tech, you know, that should be down. We should be at 100%, but it's our food that's killing us. So did they get the butcher started? Yes, they did. Now, when it comes to food, let's open uh, this up. 
we're going to go salted food. Now, let's look at our poultry. None of our poultry gives us fat. So that's, that's no good. But our meat does. And alpaca will give us eight. The cattle will give us eight. And the buffalo will give us eight. And pork will give us eight. So it looks like eight is the top number. What I was hoping for, you know, if one of the poultry would do it, life would be easier. So which ones to pick here? Well, the best thing to do is just go up here and look at your production overview. Go into food. And do they like the alpaca? We'll add that. So we're seriously overproducing alpaca and beef is one of our other big ones. So they're eating 1344, excuse me, we're producing 1344, 708 and alpaca was 17 to, so alpaca we definitely want to do. Now, another good one uh, to also do is fish, but we're not going to worry about that right now. The reason why I'm choosing alpaca is we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to get some fat out of this. And so by doing that, we're going to be able to open up the soap factory. So that's one of the first things you want to think about when you're starting up your simple food factory find a meat that they're okay on uh that they're that they're not going to raid from you and you know life is good we're going to take these numbers up to 5000 i will never hit it but i want to make sure this thing never turns off so they're going to clean us out of alpaca meat as soon as it hits uh it will get things taken care of. So, we don't have fish right now. And did I miss that guy? OMG. I cannot believe I was so busy I missed him. Oh well, it is what it is. So, what we need to do is fish. And... We're going to place a bridge. It would have been nice to have a bridge right here, but oh well. Where can we f throw off a bridge here? You know what? We're just going to toss uh, fishing right here. Now, I know you're probably like, you know, Cot, don't you want to find a fishing note or something like that? But if you notice, there aren't any. I mean, we have not done any fishing, and yet there's no fishing nodes on this river. And if you look at the lake, even the lake one is gone. So why it disappeared, I have no clue. But it is what it is. So... Is having a sandbar here good? No. But you don't want restrictions to your uh, your fishing dock. And so we're going to put our fishing dock as far out into the water as we can. And I'm going to place one here. Now... What you have to look for, and this is what I do, is I turn around and just place some type of mark that I can see. So when I click on it, okay. Now, we'll place another one.
Okay, it's going to be stubborn. Haha. <laughs> you want to be stubborn with me? Watch me do this. if I can place it now. Oh, not a nursery. Fishing dock. Eh, there we go. Now notice the lines are just side by side. Let's see if I can get it at the same distance. Oh, oh I want to just put a road in and make my life easier. Okay, right here, we'll do the fishing. Now, notice the bubbles are just barely touching each other. I could separate it one more, but I'm not going to. But I'm going to double check something. And I want to place my salt manufacturing in the middle. And I totally forgot which one, where the salt is. Water sawmill, chopping, curing workshop, apiary, gathering, big well reservoir, salt workshop right here. This thing's pretty big. And put one there. And you know what? I'm just going to put it right there. And I'll put a, a place a road here just for speed. I know one thing is just like no big deal. And I just want a small storage space because I expect it to get used very quickly. Okay, so we have our salt. And do we have planks? Yes, so we're okay on plank. Uh, we have salt and then uh, we want to go into uh, the curing shop. I'll tell you what, let's get this stuff being built. And. Oh, no, 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 guys. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Is this under rough food? Yes. So, we need to, uh. Go rough. And simple food, no beverages, no medicine, no raw materials. So food is simple food, rough food. That should give us, if I am remembering all this correct, rough food should give us... Uh, some chunks of meat in here. Yeah, a chunk of meat's in there. And fish will be in there, so we're good with that. And then, okay, we should be good on this. And then what we want to do is put in, I'm thinking two for minimum. And... That's the salt workshop, the gathering. Where are you at? Curing workshop. It's a little bit large, which is fine. And we'll just put that here. Let's go with, I think this is gonna to be too many, but better to be safe than sorry. 
we'll road all this up. And this is just a quick fix. This is not going to be uh, a permanent situation here. Let's go ahead and bring in some more immigrants. How many did we get this time? 30. How many of them are sick? Uh-oh. Three citizens have the plague. Measles. Tuberculosis. You're out of here, chicky. Oh, banish. Confirm. Measles. Do we have against the measles? So both of those are measles. Let's check. I don't recall if we're cholera on oh, the measles. Okay. Yeah, that that first one was the nasty one, which would have absolutely decimated us. So I'll I'll be more than happy to take the hit for banishing that one person. But yeah, that's important. That's a huge tip. If you do not have the medical facilities to treat those plagues, as long as you have a sheriff, instantly banish them. Get rid of them. You don't want the headache. Okay, this butcher's built. And... What we're going to do is, okay, we don't have to do fish for this. I thought fish had to be butchered to deal with this. I could be wrong, but I thought we did. And we're still having a tough time with leather. It's going to be interesting about our shoes. How bad? Oh, well, at least we still have some, so life is good. That butcher has three. Okay, we're going to go ahead and tack four people on here. We're going to put four people on this one. We're going to bring in more food. And soon as these are built, uh, we're going to go into a simple food. And with that, oh, wait a minute. Let's get our salt maxed out as well. What's this have in it? Oh, my God. You guys are killing me. <sighs> okay. Okay. We're going to uh, max this out. And that's the curing workshop. And we're going to go chunks of meat for this one. And I'm going to double this one up as well until we're out of alpaca. And... Let's do this one fish. So we're going to go ahead and pause these and see what happens. If see, this is getting difficult, but in theory, hopefully we will have enough fish coming in to keep one of these things busy and all that alpaca coming through this. And what we're looking for is we want, we want to get out of rough food. We absolutely want to stay into simple food. And right here you see salted fish and salted meat. That's what we want.
And if worst case scenario, we'll uh, start slaughtering cattle as well. If uh, the alpaca can't keep up. And that'll still give us uh, a plenty of supplies of simple food. And maybe it'll offset the meat that they're eating. So that's what we're looking for. And we're up to 53 people want housing. Oh, wonderful. So yeah, I mean, we're we're in catch-up mode. But we can put in the fixes and we'll get through this without any problems. And we'll spend this technology point. Oh, I thought we were done with quality of life. I guess we're not. We still have these two, which I'm not going to worry about. But we're going to go into mining and we're going to activate the next quarry because I lay you 10 to 1. They're almost out over here. Yeah, they're down to 36%. So that's where we're ending up on uh, this episode. Things are going to, are going to get tight and get kind of crazy. But, you know, that's the beauty of this game. And I'm glad I looked over here because these guys are sitting around doing nothing. Okay, so we know what to do when it comes to simple food. And what you want to do is absolutely, after you get the salt, kick into simple food. And this number right here will drop considerably. That population number, it'll drop. And we're going to boost our simple food production, and then we're going to get into the fine food. This simple food production is by far the easiest production chain to use. So uh, I'm going to label that one as somewhat of a tutorial. And uh, please take my advice. Don't wait as long as I did. Once you get that salt open up and you have alpaca or something decent that gives you fat, because you're now I can start soap as well. So go that route. Don't don't wait as long as I am on this map because I'm testing out my theory of technology makes it harder. So, you know. Don't follow me on that. And we're going to go ahead and I'm actually going to go the full-blown deep quarry. We're just going to get mining out of the way and we'll we'll keep dealing with the the food issue, but uh overall we're doing okay. We'll be fine and I'm not too worried about it. Matter of fact, we'll open up with uh, a tornado hitting us uh, on the next episode. So I will be back shortly and get this one uploaded and everybody can anticipate the tornado. Sound like a plan? So, hey, remember to hit that like button because you're definitely going to want to let uh, new players know um, about the simple food and the, how easy it is to start up. And please, I'm going to be doing multiple series on settlement survival. So uh, join the club and follow. I mean, it's fun, right? So I'm Larry, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this episode. And I will be seeing, or I should say, I'll be talking to you shortly. Take it easy.